Welcome to Ulabo. Today we will discuss changing bath fluids in your Ulabo circulator. So today we have an F25MA and we'll go through the draining process. So simply remove the front grid, grab a receiving container, then install a drain tube on the drain port. Using a screwdriver, open the drain valve. Once the bath tank of the Ulabo system has been emptied, if you have an external application connected to it, you could either raise the external application above the level of the circulator or remove the tubing on the back of the system to drain your external application. In this case, we have a relatively small external application. So I'm simply going to lift it above the circulator introduce some air. Fluid will drain back into the bath tank and then out into your container. In the case where you have dissimilar fluids, for example, if you were switching from silicone oil to water or water glycol, you want to remove as much of the silicone residue as possible. So in this case, I added some ethanol to the bath tank and I'm simply going to wipe it out and dry it out as much as possible. If you were going from water or water glycol to silicone fluid, then you would want to rinse the system out with acetone or ethanol, dry it out as much as possible, and then it should be fine for using the silicone fluid. So in this case, we added some ethanol into the jacket of this beaker, and we are just going to rinse it around. Okay, we rinsed the tubing and the jacket, and now we're going to uh, dry it out as best as possible with some compressed air. Okay, now that the Ulabo circulator and external application have been rinsed and dried, we can add our next fluid. So in this case, I'm going to add some new silicone fluid. Okay, now that the Ulabo internal bath tank is filled, we need to circulate to fill the flow path for the external application. So to do so, simply turn on the pump. And as the external application fills up, add more fluid. Now your application is ready to run with your new bath fluid.